In this um, recorded listing, you're going to learn how to use EFT to um, clear your energy field of people's energies that don't belong to you, or they can be that of a partner or a love interest who you feel quite attached to, or you feel some like you're taking on some of their vibrations, or they're in your, your energy field, or you're in their energy field and you'd like to feel more free, or you wish to cut the cords. Cutting cords does not necessarily mean that person is, you know, never going to sense or feel you again, or that the relationship it will end. It, it just creates an open space, and it helps you to remain more detached and less feeling of that addiction and that craving within a relationship and often what happens is when you do feel um, more detached within a relationship and all that psychic baggage is kind of cleared away it creates a space for both you and the other person to come together in a healthy way if it's meant to be so you know some people are scared of clearing their energies they you know and in those situations I do recommend like on my listing to try tapping through some of the reversals, particularly willingness or that you'll benefit um, or you won't feel deprived by clearing yourself of the other person's energy. Um, y y nothing bad is going to happen if you do that. So I guess where I would start is, you know, the 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 points are on my page on where to find them, but I'll describe them in the the tapping procedure anyways you want to start at the side of your hand the fleshy part of your hand you want to use three fingers and you want to tap on that and then you can say something like thank you God thank you God for releasing all energies that don't belong to me all of this other person's energy that does not belong to me all of his feelings all of his psychic energies all of you know his wants and needs any energy of his that exists in my energy field and I deeply and completely love and accept myself then you can move to the top of the head. Thank you, God, for clearing clearing me. I'm releasing all those unwanted energies. I'm releasing all those psychic debris that's in my energy field, any psychic baggage that's in my energy field that's connected to that other person, and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Then you move to the point that's right at the beginning of your eyebrow, and you tap that with two fingers, and you go, thank you, God, that I'm releasing and letting go. I'm releasing and letting go all of these energies that don't belong to me. I'm sending them back to my, uh, their original owner and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Then you can move to the side of your eye, which is right on the bone, you know, where the side of your eye is and it's the point to release anger. And thank you God that I'm releasing and I'm letting go. I'm letting all, all those energies go. I'm trusting that nothing bad is going to happen. If I do that and I'll just feel more centered, I'll feel more relaxed, I'll feel less obsessed and more balanced and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then you, you tap the point under the eye. It's right on the bone under the eye with two fingers. Thank you God that I'm I continue to release, I continue to let go, I let go of all these energies, I deserve to let go of all these energies, it is safe for me to let go of all these energies, I am willing to let go of all these energies, you know, that are stuck in my energy field, that belong to this other person, that belong to anyone, any energies that don't belong to me, and I ask them to be sent back to the original owner, and I deeply and completely do love and accept myself. Then there's a point that's right under your nose and between your, between the top of your lip and your nose, and you want to tap that with two points, two fingers too. Uh, thank you, God, that I continue to release. I continue to let go. I'm releasing and letting go of all those energies. I don't need them anymore. I don't need them to have a happy and healthy relationship. I don't need to carry all this energy. I can be relaxed. I can be balanced. I can be whole, and I can be clear. And this will benefit my relationship, and I deeply, completely love and accept myself. And then you can tap the chin point. I'm releasing, I'm letting go. I'm releasing anything in my auric field, any attachments, any entities, any any energies that don't belong to me, and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Then you want to move to your collarbone point, which is the dip where in your collarbone where the two bones meet. And if you have a hard time finding it, just see the diagram on my page. And you can tap all this after listening to the recording and then you go I'm releasing I'm letting go I'm flooding my arc field with bright white healing light I'm letting that light come in I'm flooding my arc field it's clearing my energy and I feel my energy become so light so clear 
so balanced, so refreshed, and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then there's the point under the arm. For women, it's on the bra strap. It's usually about four inches down from your armpit, and it's right under your arm. Again, it's on my page if you can't find it. And I'm releasing, and I'm letting go. I'm letting my auric field just expand out. I'm letting it become filled with bright white healing light and expanding out so clear so bright so free of any energies that don't belong to me and I deeply and so completely love and accept myself now what you want to do is you can actually clear the cords if you wish so you start back on the karate chop point again which is on the side of the hand and you go thank you God for clearing me of all those cords that will all cords that I don't need anymore, all cords to this person that I'm obsessing over, and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then you tap another round. Thank you, God, that you know I'm releasing and letting go all cords that I don't need anymore. I'm letting Archangel Michael come in, or El Moira, or whatever energy that I perceive come in and just cut those cords and clear them out cleanly, safely, easily, magically, and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And thank you, God, that I'm releasing and letting go of all these cords. Nothing bad is going to happen if I release them. It'll just open a space. It'll open a beautiful space, a magical space. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Then you move to the top of the head. Thank you, God, that I can release all these cords. I can clear them away. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for coming in and cutting them all for me, making everything all clear and beautiful. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then you can move to the eyebrow point. Thank you, God, that I clear these cords now. I am willing to have this space opened up. I'm willing to be clear. I'm willing to not obsess. And I deeply, completely love and accept myself. And then you move to the side of the eye. Thank you, God, again, for clearing these cords of mine. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for coming and clearing them all. And I deeply, completely love and accept myself under the eye. Thank you, God, that... I'll fully benefit if I'm cleared of this cord. I will fully benefit if I'm just more detached, more present, more in the space of being, of the space of the doorway called allow, and I allow all experiences into my life, and I can let go of all of the past, and let go of everything that's blocking me, and I deeply, completely love and accept myself. And then you can tap under the nose. Thank you, God. I'm releasing, and I'm letting go. I'm letting all these cords go. I realize I don't need them as strongly as I think I do, and I deeply, completely love and accept myself. Then you can tap the chin. Thank you, God. I keep releasing. I'm letting go. I'm releasing these cords now easily and effortlessly. I'm letting whatever energies come in, uh, healing energies come in, to clear those cords away from me and to help me enter a detached space, and I deeply, completely love and accept myself. And then your collarbone point. Thank you, God. I'm clear. I'm so clear. I'm so beautiful. The space is open up now, and, and I deeply please, love and accept myself. And then under the arm, thank you, God, for clearing me of all cords that I don't need anymore. And I so deeply and completely do love and accept myself. So that's an example of how you can use EFT to clear your cords. I know, like, I did stutter a little bit, but um, if you get the gist of what I did, um, you can... Um, do the whole process for yourself. You can use it on any blocks that you see on my page. And, it, you know, it really, really does work. I mean, there's been times that I did obsess over a relationship and I cleared, and I even cleared into different layers of the aura. So I, I did the process for each level of my aura, clearing all the energies from the first layer of my aura, clearing them from the second layer of my aura, and doing a tapping round on each one. And I did feel so much more detached and I wasn't obsessing on the relationship or worried about fear of rejection and that's another thing too if if you're obsessing is mainly because you have underlying fears of abandonment or underlying fears of losing that person you can also tap those things too so you'd again go thank you God um, that I deserve to be clear of this fear of abandonment I don't need to fear abandonment anymore you know, and I deeply, completely love and accept myself. And you just tap that through all the points and anything that comes up. And you can even do the obsession. Thank you, God, that, you know, I deserve to be free of this obsession. And you go through all the blocks and you tap all that too and see if it feel, makes you feel a lot lighter. So anyways, that's my recording on releasing um, cords and psychic attachments in your field. And, uh, and have a nice day.